Hello and welcome to my channel. My name is Avery, my hair is a mess, and I'm an idiot. Okay, so basically what I mean by I'm an idiot is, so on my Goodreads, I've read 92 books this year, and that's kind of crazy for me, so I was like, hey, let's read 100 by the end of the year, because I'm stupid. So, um, it's December 26th. It's 7.30 in the morning, and I have eight books to read by the end of the month, which would be six days. That's, I mean, that's kind of okay. That's just because I, like, was reading really late yesterday to get some books out of the way. Okay, sorry for the flash, but once again, it's really kind of early, and my house is dark. So, uh, I will most likely have only two physical books read by the end of this eight book excursion, um, because I have a lot of ebooks out from the library, and I also have to review a book that's on ebook. Okay, so, um, the first book here is, um, I Am the Messenger by Marcus Zusak. I read a couple pages of it. I'm on... Oh, I read more than I thought. Okay, that's interesting. Well, okay, that's a thing. Okay. The next book that's physical that I'll possibly be getting to is Turtles All the Way Down by John Green. I got this on Christmas Eve, so that's why I haven't read it yet. Because I own all of John Green's other books in paperback, so I was like, I don't want to buy a hardcover, but I'm an idiot. So, yeah. I have this, yeah, and it's beautiful, and I love it. I mean, I haven't even read it, but, like, yeah. Okay, and then, of my ebooks um, that I'll try to put on the screen somewhere, um, I have Feral Youth by David Hutcherson, I believe. I have, um, The Uncanny Valley by C.A. Gray, which is the one I need to review. Um... Oh gosh, I don't even remember. Oh, um, Always and Forever Laura Jean by Jenny Han. Um, oh my goodness, I don't even remember. Well, whatever, that's like five books. And we'll even see if we get that far. Okay, yeah. Good. Okay, so the first book I'm probably gonna read and finish, or plan to, um, is... I'm the Messenger by Marcus Zusak, because I thought I only got like 10 pages in, but apparently I got like 52, so, okay, see you guys in a bit. Quick update, it's 11.30, I'm on page, oof, 155, and I have to go feed my fish, so, yeah. Okay, so I finished I'm the Messenger by Marcus Zusak on the way back from the grocery store. I gave it a 4.3 out of 5. It's a weird rating, I know, but there will, there will be more on that later. It's almost 8 o'clock, and I'm going to start reading Feral Youth by a ton of authors. It's an ebook from the library, so, you know, can't show you it, but... Hello, I'm here for a quick update. It is November, November, it is December 27th, and it's like 12.15, and as of yesterday, I finished I'm the Messenger by Marcus Usak, which is 347, wait, 357 pages. Um, I read about 60 pages of Feral Youth, and then I stopped, and I'm kind of in the mood for reading an actual book, because I prefer that to ebooks, so we'll see. Also, I took a shower, and that's why my hair's wet and stuff. Um, yeah, I might try to see if I can find, um, the third book in the... The name of this book is Secret, or the, the Secret Series. I started it when I was in, like, fourth grade. I read the first two, and then I stopped, but I own the third one, and I own the fifth one. I don't own the fourth one, but 
I feel like it's it's time to finish those so I don't forget about them entirely because I can still recall some of the things. So I think that's a good idea. I think I should do that because I feel like that should be done. Okay. Never mind that last idea. It's in my garage bookshelf and that's, um, no, it's blocked in completely on all sides by Christmas boxes of decorations and stuff. So yeah, I mean, that was, you got a little tour of my house from that little walking thing. Let's see, what book can I read that I feel like reading? I'm a big mood reader. <clears throat> Let's see. Okay, so I'm trying to decide if I should read All of History is All You Left Me by Adam Silvera, because that's kind of calling to me, or possibly um, the second book in here that I already kind of started, so like the second book. So like the last book of the Vampire Diaries, like original series. Oh, what is that? Okay, well, I started it, and then I stopped it because... Bonnie was the narrator. I don't know. Just and I, I should finish this because I I still I and they're quick to read so. Okay, I'll read this. But okay, I'm starting on page two hundred eighty six. For reference, for me later. But yeah, okay. So I'm gonna read, the Dark Reunion. Here I am doing a reading thing over here. You know, whatever. And then there's my little sister. She's doing a binge watchathon. She's watched all of Riverdale, well, season one. We watched season two before she watched season one, and then now she's watching um, all of um, the, the Stranger Things. And when she finishes the first season, I'm going to watch season two with her because I haven't watched season two yet. So, yeah. Productivity. Okay, so it's about 7.30, and I finished oof, the last book in this book about an hour ago. And I just read about maybe 50 pages in Feral Youth by a ton of authors. I was thinking of stopping that again and getting to um, a real book. Those are my sister's feet. It's not a dead body, I swear. Um, because I prefer reading real books and it takes me a long time to read ebooks. But I was thinking of reading next History is All You Left Me. And I think that's really doable for the end of the night because it's only like 200 something pages, like 240, 200, oh, like 290 pages, like ish. So I think I can do that because it's a contemporary and it's less than 300 pages. I get it done in a couple hours. So yeah, I'll start up on that and I'll talk to you guys later. I don't feel like reading History is All You Left Me. So I'm gonna be a cheater and read a manga. Blood Lad, number one. This one, I started it before, I don't know where I stopped it. I just remember I didn't like it particularly that much from what I had read. But it could be because my sister was peer pressuring me to read it. Yeah. So, <laughs> let's see. My mom found this mystery <laughs> Harry Potter key ring thingy, so <laughs> I'm gonna open it. And, uh, I only have one hand, so let's see how this is gonna go. Okay. Ooh, there's that was easy. There we go. Okay. Oh, I got a Dumbledore. That's cute. That's great. Ten out. It's almost midnight, and I finished Blood Lad. Three stars. Yeah. I'm gonna try to read another story from Feral Youth. Before I go to sleep. Hello, it's like 10:30 in the morning. I'm halfway through with Feral Youth, and I think I'm just gonna try to knock that out. According to my ebook, it says that I should be done in four hours. I think I'll be done quicker just because I've been blah with the averages and stuff. So, yeah, I'll see you eventually. Hello. I've not done much reading. I've read, like, one story in Feral Youth, and, um, then I filmed two other videos, and if you can see, I changed my shirt, and that's for the sole purpose of 
the last video that I filmed, which will be up before this one, because this one is a work in progress. I also watched two episodes of Stranger Things 2 with my little sister because, she, yeah, why not? And I also moved the guy that was taped up there to my wall because of this used to be my brother's room, but like, whatever. Um, and now hopefully you won't see it as much, I don't know, all the stuff up here is my brother's, but <sighs> yeah, okay, that was a nice little update, talk to you guys later. Okay, so I just finished Feral Youth by Sean David Hutcherson and a bunch of authors. My favorite two stories were the stories by Marie Knizhkamp and Suzanne Young. So yeah, pretty good book. Four stars. I'm almost 75% done with that anthology that I started last night. Not really liking it that much. I'm going to finish it, though, because I'm almost done. Um, I'm going to go see Star Wars at noon, so I'll have to stop reading for that. But other than that, I think I'll go to the library after, because why not, and get some books, because the library is good. Support your library. Hello again, another update. So, it's like three something, I'm not sure exactly, but you know, three. Um, I didn't get to see Star Wars because of some miscommunications between my brother and I, um, but my sister got to see it <laughs> Well, I went and waited in the library <laughs> for two and a half hours. So I'll give you a quick library haul because, you know, that's kind of a cool thing. Two of them are about girls with um, uh, mental illnesses and one is about um, historical fiction slash kind of like Outlander but not, I don't know. Okay, well, anyway, the first book that I have is Every Last Word by Tamara Island Stone. Ireland, not Island. And it's about a girl with OCD, basically. Heard it's a pretty good book. The next book that I got is oof, Paperweight by Meg Hastum. Haston. Um, it's about a girl with, I believe it's anorexia. I know it's some kind of eating disorder, but I'm fairly certain it's anorexia. Correct me if I'm wrong, though. I mean, I'll probably read this by the end of the readathon, so whatever. Um, the last book I got is Dune by Carrie Corp and Lori Langdon. Langdon. I don't know, but heard all these three books were supposed to be pretty good. Um, I'm outside, if you can't tell. Like, my dog is over there drinking from the pool because that's what my dog does because he's a weirdo. the show that you're supposed to be watching with me. Hi. She ditched me for herself because I wanted to read like a chapter in between every episode. She couldn't handle that. So. <laughs> okay, update. So I'm like a quarter of the way done with Dune by Carrie Corp and Lori Langdon. And I really like it so far. But... I'm not going to have that much time to read tomorrow because we'll be doing stuff all day. Um, and then I'm not going to have a lot of time to read on Sunday, which is the 31st. So I think, because it'll take me like um, six more hours probably to finish this because I've been, I'm only on page like 96 and um, I've been reading it for a couple hours. So I think I'm going to stop reading this pick up uh paperweight by meg halston halston i think that's what it is i don't remember um because that's short and it's a contemporary and i read those pretty quickly or hmm yeah no i think i'm gonna do that because it's like 200 something pages so i can get that done really quickly and i'm gonna read that and then i'll come back to this and maybe finish it before the end of the year but we'll see, because I'm going to be busy for the next two days, and it's the 29th, and it's really late. What time is it? It's not really late. It's What time is it? 10.14. It's kind of late. So, I'm going to do that. And I'm going to force her to... Uh, 10.15. Okay, well, I'm going to force that child... I can't even... I'm going to force the child to read, um, We Are Okay. 
because that's a good book. So I've been forced to do it right now. Yeah. Hey. You'll never guess what just happened. I just finished my hundredth book of 2017. And I still have 25 hours left in the year. Even though six of those hours tomorrow will be booked. I'm probably not going to finish another book by the end of the year. But, um... I will need to record a wrap-up of this whole thingy for you guys. So, yeah, a hundred books. That's a real big achievement for me, because I'm a really slow, slow reader. Personally, I feel like I am. I just read, like, for a long time at a time. Like, I read in quantity and not in fastness when it comes to... People being like, oh, you read so much. No. I just, I mean, I, I read a lot. I just don't read quickly a lot. <sighs> I'm so happy, though. I read a hundred books. That's, I never thought in my life that's not a thing that I thought could happen. But I did. But I will do all the math on the page count and everything and see what I've read for you guys and update you in a second, I guess, for your perspective. A ah, hundred books. A hundred books. A hundred books. I read a hundred books. Also, sorry if there's like whirring in the background, it's a fan because it's hot in my room. Even though it's almost midnight. California. Yeah. I was thinking of listening to an audiobook of a book that I started during the summer that I never finished, but then I was thinking, I should just reread The Duff, because I'm a weirdo, and that's the first book that I read this year. So if I reread The Duff, and now Goodreads counts rereads as the challenge, too. Would it count if it's the same year, though? I don't know. I'll know I'll read, I would have read 101 books, even if it doesn't. But I think I might do that because it's short, and also I liked it, and, you know, it's kind of like it ends at the start, or the... What am I even talking about? Sorry. I'm tired. I'm trying to quote freaking... Quote. I don't even know. Okay, I'm gonna read. Bye. It's 4.30 in the morning. I just finished rereading The Duff, and it was so good. Such a cute... I mean, like, okay. I know that it has relationships built on, like, emotional abuse and things like that, you know. I can't think. It's 4.30 in the morning. I haven't gone to sleep. Um, but I still really enjoy it overall just because I like the story. I don't... I swear I'm not a terrible person. I just... I enjoy it. Hello! Um, I realized that I never made a wrap-up for my video. It's been two weeks since I finished it, but... You know, that's how it goes. So, um, I have all my stuff written here on the back of my library receipt. But, I have a... Collective finishing of things. And also, sorry, my hair is a mess. It was raining today. Um, in total, I read 2,330 words across eight books. Um, and then now I will name those books in order. First, I read I Am the Messenger by Marka Zusak, which I gave four stars. Next, I read Blood Lad Volume 1 by Yuki Kodama, and I gave that three stars. Then, Dark Reunion, The Vampire Diaries Number 4 by L.J. Smith, 3 stars. Feral Youth by Sean David Hutchin Hutch Hutchinson, and like 9, 10 other authors, um, 4 stars. Then, um, Oran High School Host Club, Volume 1 by Bisco Hattori, 4 stars. Um, an anthology entitled Westlake Village Library Writes. Uh, four stars. Then Paperweight by Meg Haston, four stars. And lastly, I reread The Duff by Cody Keplinger, 
which gets its four star rating again. Yeah, my hair is crazy. Okay, well anyway, thank you so very much for watching this video about me reading for a week. Um, down below I will link my Goodreads as well as my Bookstagram. So check those out if you want uh, to read some of my reviews on these eight books or see pictures of possibly some of those books on my Instagram. Again, thank you so very much for watching and see you guys in the next video.